Today, I'm gonna to be doing a head-to-head -head match between AI SEO and Brainwork. A lot of people have been chatting about these two AI content writers, but is the hype really there? I'm gonna be testing both of these two tools out, and I will tell you which one I recommend. So let's get started. All right, guys, uh, feel free to jump chapters in the description if I'm gonna be speaking too slow in this video. And before we dive in, I want to let you guys in on a free SEO audit checklist that I built out. Um, it's a 100 plus point checklist that you could use to audit your, your websites. So this tool goes hand in hand with AI SEO or Brainwork or any other AI content generator where you can build out your content using those tools and you could use my checklist to audit it and it's a full roadmap on optimizing an entire website so really great for affiliate sites for your client sites completely free from me to you to get this free checklist click the link in the description put in your first name your email and I'll instantly email you a link to this checklist so let's dive right in to AI SEO first so this is the, the dashboard, all right? Um, you can select six different sections within the dashboard. Uh, you can view your saved content, your account information, rewards. So you can actually increase your credits if you leave reviews on all of these different review sites. So be very, very skeptical and wary of all the reviews that you read about AI SEO because I'm pretty sure they are going to be leaving reviews simply to get an increase in characters. So be on the lookout for, for those reviews, okay? Um, but I mean, it does help you. So if you wanna increase your, <coughs> your character limit, leave reviews, I will do that. And then you could go to guides, kind of like a help section, and then promo code to add your AppSumo code if you wish. I'm gonna go to generate. So long form assistant. So this is where you can basically build an entire blog post from scratch. Um, copywriting templates. This is a list of different copywriting uh, templates like question and answers, SEO description, ADA framework, headlines, Amazon descriptions, blog ideas, uh, brand essence, FAQ, Facebook, Instagram. So all of these different templates are available to help you generate these short form copy. All right, it even has YouTube. And you can even Write your entire blog post here if you wish to. So for example, if you want to do like an ADA framework, I can just say affiliate marketing. All right. And you can select your language and I'm gonna hit generate. And it'll generate uh, different options for you. So you could see here, there are a couple of them. Money through affiliate marketing desire action. These outputs are not too bad. I'm gonna copy this and it automatically goes to your body copy, okay? And then you can edit it however you wish. If you highlight it, you can convert it to these different uh, heading lists, checklists, or quote, bold, italicize, add a link, uh, highlight the, with a marker, rewrite, shorten, expand, make it more formal, more casual, or make it more creative. And then you can also uh, have the AI continue to write um, where you left off. And I'm gonna exit this, and overview where you could write your title, description, and it'll generate it for you. You can create an entire outline, and you can generate questions uh, from um, the outputs that it already generated and the keywords that you already added to um, the tool. So how often should you blog and how much? So you can add that there. So how does a company's blog impact website ranking? Okay, these headlines or these questions are not too bad. They are pretty relevant, I would say. And then SERP sections, so you could extract SERP data, NLP terms, so you can get a list of different keywords or terms you should be adding on your body copy. 
very similar to Surfer if you've used that before. And it does take a while for it to load, but in any case, uh, SERP facts, templates like we just went through, and then public library of other users creating their own uh, templates that, that anyone can use. All right, so that's basically the gist of this part. I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. Those are the copywriting templates templates that I showed you. And then blog post generator, this one is pretty cool because it takes you through this four step process of generating your uh, titles. So you add the topic. So affiliate marketing, generate titles. And let's see what kind of titles it, it generates for us. Okay, how to promote your product ideas. These are not too bad. Uh, one thing to note is that it is kind of buggy. So you'll see the last four here are kind of mumbo jumbo. All right. Um, I kind of like this one. So I'm going to select that and then it'll take you to the next step. And it does take a, a little while for the tool to load. Okay. Intro. Now it, basically builds out the entire intro for you. And the intros are okay. I mean, one is kind of like an outline. Another one is a couple of paragraphs. I wouldn't necessarily use this as is. I would definitely um, update it pretty significantly to make sure it reads well and just makes sense and is accurate, right? So, um, but that first one I think was okay. Now it's gonna take me to that next step. Outline, what is affiliate marketing? Why, practical guide, how to create a successful blog. These are okay, the outputs are not too bad, but at the same time, I think there are other AI content writers that do generate better outlines. I'm gonna select this one. Okay, so the next part is structured outline. So a little bit more content in terms of uh, the content in within each section of your outline. Okay, so uh, these are, are okay. I'm gonna select this one and go to editor. Now it will basically use all of that data that I've selected within that uh, step by step process and put it in a long form editor where I can start building out uh, my long form blog post. All right, so. As you see here, the tool basically started everything for me. Now I can go in and make my edits. But just looking at this content, it's actually not that great. Uh, let's see. Assign a merchant ID and a unique affiliate code. You know, affiliate marketing is marketing through trusted third parties, usually via commission. What are affiliate marketing programs? Yeah, the outputs are not the best. More sales results, more sales. How to start and to succeed with affiliate marketing. So the outputs definitely are not as great as other AI content writers. But in any case, uh, you can look at different how many headlines you have, and then the suggested headlines, word count, readability. You can improve the readability as well. All right. If you cop, if you click on that, you can go through here, and it uses Hemingway. All right. If you've used that website before, it's a free tool that improves, helps you improve, and guides you in making your content more readable and have. Uh, less grammar issues. And you can import content from a URL, SERP outline. So this is where you can select your different uh, headings from different competitor websites, all right? So a really great way to do content research. 
and free images so you can search for different images that's associated with your content. So I like how it already gives me a list of relevant images and then you can add it right there. And then dark mode, so if you won't like dark mode, you could turn it to dark. And then similar as what I've showed previously, you have different areas where you can help you and build out a different outline, answer questions, SERP sections, NLP terms, so on and so forth, all right? So I'm gonna go back, go back to my dashboard, and readability improver, we kind of just went through that, right? So it will uh, give you access to Hemingway where you can improve your, your content. So if I add a period there, it'll basically improve and guide you in making your content just much more easier to read. And then I'm gonna go back and then content paraphraser so you can paraphrase the content. So let me just pull just this content here and then you can paraphrase it. Oops, I ran out of credits, but that's okay. But it'll basically redo the, the paragraph for you. You can shorten it, expand it, make it more formal, casual, creative. Now these options are already within the long form editor. All right, that's already in the long form editor. And then the Chrome extension, of course. So that's basically the gist of AI SEO. Uh, the pros, I think it has some pretty good features in terms of having that long form assistant. All right, you can build out long form uh, blog posts if you wish. And there are quite a bit of copywriting templates similar to uh, Jasper. Uh, you know, so all these different short form templates from those other tools, you do have access to those similar tools with AI SEO. And in terms of the cons, uh, the UI UX is not that great. Okay, the UI UX is not that great. It's a little bit slow. It did take a while to kind of load the, the outputs and the limits are not that good. I'll explain the limits in, in a bit. And, and, and the AppSumo plan could be improved. So now let's jump to Brainwork. So this is Brainwork. And this is long form as well. So it really focuses on long form. So I'm gonna click on new post. So yeah, this is kind of like the dashboard. You can manage your projects, long form AI writing assistant. You could uh, create blog titles, outlines, do your keyword research, uh, see what's new, affiliate program and tutorials. That's basically the gist. And then if you click on this purple button, new post, you can add your keyword, hit continue and it will give you suggested keywords that you can add. And then you can also add any additional ones if you wish as well, and then hit create. And so this is kind of like the long form editor. So if you remember, let me go back here. Okay, so this is the long form editor uh, template for AI SEO, and then this is Brainworks, okay? And then you can uh, enter a title or you could generate titles. So I already added my keyword, right? So it generated these different titles. There's five of them and they're pretty good. Remember AI SEO had bugs that it gave us for mumbo jumbo titles, but these ones look pretty good. And if you add the plus, it automatically adds it in the title section. And then you can generate outlines Okay, and very quickly I can tell Brainwork is much faster in generating these outputs. Okay, and I do like these outlines. It organizes it by introduction, different sections, and conclusion. So very, very nicely laid out. How to get more traffic, how to increase sales. So the, these outputs are better. These outputs are better than AI SEO. And then SEO part, so it gives you an SEO score. It gives you information about um, whether or not your keyword is in the title, in headings, length, so on and so forth. You can add a featured image if you wish. And then it does give you these kind of like NLP terms. But with AI SEO, you actually had to generate the NLP terms for you. But with Brainwork, it automatically gives it to you without you having to run and generate them. So I like how it's already here. It gives you the top questions, top posts, 
that you could go through and analyze their content to help you write yours. And then you can also uh, edit it as you wish. So different headings, all of these things, you can add, change the color, add links, right? Add images, and then you can also rephrase, summarize. So if I want to rephrase it, just highlight it, what you want, and then it'll rephrase it for you. And then you can summarize it. You can turn things into a paragraph. So for example, for this section, I can highlight this, and then I could turn it into a paragraph, right? So you could click here or here. So I could click this, and then it'll turn that sentence into a paragraph. And then say, for example, maybe I want to turn this into maybe a listicle. It'll kind of show me a step-by-step -step, uh, list of you know, what to do in terms of how to choose a good product to promote. Research the product, consider their target market, evaluate the competition. So these are actually pretty good. These are pretty good. And then you could add steps, how to create a successful landing page. Let's see if we can add steps there. Let's see. Choose the right domain, compelling title and description, write clear, concise copy, optimize. So these steps are pretty good. So the outputs are not bad. Outputs are not bad. And then you can also, let me zoom out. You can also hit this green button and then it will generate more where you left off. All right, so, so you can have the AI write for you uh, if you want to add more content. So that's basically the gist of Brainwork. Uh, you can close the assistant, you can preview it, save it, do a plagiarism check, you can publish it, share it with others, download it, all right? And then if you click on exit, the document will be listed here. And these other parts are basically the same. It will take you to that long form editor, all right? So if you just wanna focus on just each individual part you can. So AI blog titles, you can click on that, affiliate marketing tips, and then it'll generate um, titles for you and just select the one you, you want. So I did notice there is a bug. So this sixth one says no title. So it's not free of bugs. I kind of like this one. So I'm gonna click on, so you could click on write post and it'll write the post for you or show you more. If you click on write post, um, it'll kind of take you through the whole process of the long form editor, right? So see, it takes me back to the long form editor, but the title is, is already there. Now I'm gonna exit. If I go to AI blog outlines or titles, it should have been saved here, but still with a long form assistant, it'll be listed there too. So that's the gist of Brainwork. Now, both are on AppSumo lifetime deal. And starting off with AI SEO, uh, it's $49 starting off and you can stack up to three codes, all right? So it's another con is it's not mapped to a plan. So you get lifetime access to the AI SEO plan. Uh, AI SEO has two paid plans, grow and scale, but it's not mapped to any of those paid plans. So be aware of that. And let's see what else. So 3000 character context look back. Another thing to note is that you do get 250 credits per month and that's about 25,000 words, okay? And then each additional code you stack adds an additional 250 credits, okay? So, but with one credit, or one code, you get 25,000 words for 49 bucks lifetime. And here you get for the first tier of their paid plan, which is their grow, it's 19 a month and you get 50,000 AI words. 50,000 versus 25,000, that's half. So keep that in mind, all right? So within, within two to two and a half, three months, you will be um, reaping, you know, that, that payment, right? You don't need to pay after two to three months with the $49 one time. So 30 plus SEO documents, right? So with scale, it's 34 a month, but it's unlimited generations. Okay. So keep that in mind. The limits are not that great. 
uh, but it is an option for you if you don't have any AI content writers. Now with Bramework, uh, they do have four tiers, paid tiers, on their website. Now with AppSumo, it starts at $79, so it is a little bit more expensive. Now with the pros, I want to tell you about the pros first before I kind of go into the, the deal terms. So the outputs are good, right? The outputs are, are very, very good. Uh, the UI UX is easy. It's so much more fluid. It's faster. I just know how to use it. Uh, I just know how to use it. Like it's The UI UX is very good. And I wanted to point out that with the AppSumo deal, it is mapped to the starter plan, right? There's their second tier at 49 a month, right? But you can only pay 79 lifetime for the starter plan. So a pretty good deal, pretty good deal. And you can get up to four tiers and that's 400 bucks. Uh, but with tier one, it's 40,000 words per month with two years users. And then if you want more words, then you need to upgrade to the different tiers. And plagiarism checker, 20,000 words per month. Okay, keep that in mind. And comparing this, so 40,000, 40,000. So that's good. It's mapped to the starter plan, 40,000 generated words, exactly the same. So their highest tier is 500,000. And, you know, it's not agency level where you get unlimited, uh, but it's still not that bad, right? Uh, five. 500,000 words per month. So you'll be writing a lot of content. So um, yeah, so I like how it's mapped to the starter plan. The limits are much, much more generous. And that's really the gist of it. So if I were to choose AI versus AI SEO versus Brainwork, without a doubt, Brainwork, you clearly can tell that Brainwork is the, the deal is so much better, so much more better than AI SEO. And just the usability, the UI UX, the output is clearly much better than AI, than AI SEO. So my that's my thoughts on it. And with that said, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. All right, so let me know, are you gonna be choosing AI SEO or Brainwork Leave? your answer in the comments. And if you want to check out my other software reviews, just click any of these two videos right here. Thanks and we'll see you next time.